Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we are going to be going over a 2022 Range Rover Sport SVR, and this is a very special SVR. You guys will see in today's video. First and foremost, a huge shout out and thank you to the Land Rover of downtown Salt Lake for giving me some time with this SVR. Check out their inventory in the description down below. Let's get into the video. Starting things under the hood, we have a supercharged 5 liter V8 that goes through an 8 speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 575 horsepower and then 516 pound feet of torque. And this engine's days are numbered, sadly. So uh, I recommend getting one of these sports before it runs out, before they get rid of that engine, rather. And then you guys can see here with the hood, it's all carbon fiber. It looks beautiful. I love the attention to detail on it. And uh, it's just always cool when you have a carbon fiber hood on a vehicle. Now, I wanted to show the uh, paint color here so you guys can see kind of what it looks like when it has like a clear coat over it. And then what it looks like when it doesn't have a clear coat over it. So you can see just the true color of the uh, avocado uh, paint job on this particular <laughs> Range Rover Sport. Very interesting looking, but I'm a huge fan. Anyways, now you guys can see the full view. Now, it's really hard to capture this color on camera. Um, it looks gray in some lighting, and then it looks green in other lighting. You guys can see the hood venting there in the center, um, and then also the accenting around. And again, I, I tried my best to show you guys the paint color, but it, it's just, it's very difficult to capture it. You've got the Range Rover logo right there. You've got the Land Rover logo down below. And then you guys can see you've got the LED accent lights right there with uh, the headlights themselves. And then you've got all the venting because again, it's an SVR. So it's got a bunch of crazy venting. Parking sensors, which are very nicely integrated. And then the black front splitter right there. And you guys will notice that there's a bunch of contrast between the green and the black on the this SVR, which uh, makes it look really sharp. Um, but yeah, again, you guys can see as I'm kind of moving around, it, the color kind of shifts from like a gray to a green, uh, pretty much just depending on how the light is hitting it and all that fun stuff. And then you guys can see the tire and wheel set up here on the side. You can see the size right there, uh, 285 millimeter, 22 inch wheels, which uh, are very nicely proportioned with the vehicle. This does have air suspension. Uh, and so it's in the uh, lower ride height setting right now. And that's why it's kind of like so tucked. And then you can see the body painted fender flare as well and then how the uh, bodywork is all painted down on the side and then you've got that black accent piece right there off to the side and then also the mirror and then you can see the roof is also all blacked out as well and uh this body line i noticed was also on the full side so i kind of pointed it out it's kind of like a range rover thing to have that uh body line cut all the way through and then you can see the tire and wheel set up there and the back looks just as nice as what you have in the front and then moving here to the back itself again you can really see like the shift on the color here it's just, it's just uh yeah, it's, it's different. It's definitely different. Got the uh, SVR logo right there. And then you guys can see this has the 3D taillights. Uh, they're really cool. So you can see it's kind of like incremental with how they look. And they look really good at night. And then the black accenting goes around them. And then across the tailgate or the rear hatch, whatever. Down below, we've got the exhaust tips. And then we've got the parking sensors there at the very bottom. And then you can see you've got a receiver hitch down below that. And so opening it up, you can just press this button right here and that'll actually open it up. I didn't press it hard enough the first time I remembered. I like very lightly tapped it. You actually have to press it. Go figure. Um, but moving on, um, notice that that is actually just uh, plastic, which is actually good because you don't have to worry about like scraping nice metallic trim. And then you can see that you can raise and lower the uh, rear end because, again, it's got the air suspension. So it's another nice feature to have. And then you can see the tire set up there at the butt. Well, spare tire setup rather you actually do get a spare tire which is nice you got all the floor mats back there and then the carpeting uh, is really nice and then uh, i like the look of the cargo cover as well it just kind of like all felt uh, premium and then pressing that it lowers everything down and i tried to capture as many like you know shots back so you can see the color uh again in as many different angles and lighting and all that kind of stuff as uh, possible to really just capture it in camera now the interior on this is uh pretty interesting because it's uh, kind of like a white cream basically and you've got some black accents as well uh, but it's a very interesting contrast to the green on the outside notice you have an unlock and lock there and for the back passenger you've got the speakers for the meridian sound system as well i've got a window control there at the top and then the door handle notice just all the material used with everything is just top notch everything looks absolutely fantastic from a material standpoint and then we've got our sv bespoke badge because this is a bespoke package uh, technically and then you've got your svr logo there on the seats you can see really nice leather with the stitching design uh, and then there's like alcantara inserts and uh, overall all of it looks 
uh, really nice. Uh, it's got again, it's got like this nice uh, premium uh, look to it, and the stitching is really nice. And just the fit and finish on everything uh, with this vehicle is just absolutely uh, top notch for sure. Got the climb controls here for the rear passengers down below, and then you can see that you've got USBs and all that uh, fun stuff. And then you can see the door panel there in the rear. And uh, yeah, overall, uh, again, the back seat area is very nice, has a nice premium uh, feel to it. And so, yeah, there we go. Popping over here to the front, uh, you guys can see here, uh, really nice material use. We'll start with the door panel again. Um, so you can see that, you know, lighter color there at the top with a darker coloration down below. You've got your memory seat function right there with your door lock and unlock all the window controls, mirror adjustments as well. And then you can see here with the mirrors themselves, kind of the look on that, and then more speakers for that Meridian sound system. And then you actually have this storage space here in the door, it's kind of like a door pocket storage space which is really nice. And then you can see uh, down below, uh, material use down there is even nice. And then we've got another SV bespoke uh, little badge right there. And you can see the seats here at the front, just as nice as what you have in the rear. A really nice bolstering on them. And you can see the design's the same. So it's good that they carry the design language to the back seat so that everyone has like a, a nice seat in the vehicle. Power adjustments there on the side of the seat. And you can see the pedals, again, look really premium with a nice metallic trim on them. And you can see that is for the hatch. And then look at the coloration around the venting and then the leather trim. Notice how they've got like leather pretty much uh, everywhere. So all the surfaces are covered. And then you can see uh, with the screen there, that's kind of just what happens when you open the door. That's what it'll look like. And then look at the material use around the steering wheel uh, on the airbag cover. And then all of the controls there on the steering wheel. Those will illuminate when the vehicle is fully on. You've got the paddle shifters there on the back of the steering wheel. And then you've got the dual screens. So that's the infotainment system that says SVR on it. And that's kind of where you control like the normal stuff. And then that's where the camera pops up. This is where you control the climate, the drive modes, the seats, all that fun stuff. You've got the shifter for the eight speed automatic, the drive mode select right there, uh, which you can press and it'll pop up. And then this does have the refrigerator center console, which uh, you guys know I'm a huge fan of. I think it's just a nice practical thing. Uh, to have and you can turn it on with two different uh, cooling settings so that's another nice thing uh, about the SVR but we're going to go from the uh, front driver's seat over to the passenger side actually so that I can show you guys uh, some stuff on the passenger side and then also the window stickers you can see how much this package costs and all that um, so first off we have the dual glove box so you've got like the top one that opens up uh, kind of like backwards compared to most glove boxes. And then you guys saw that SVR logo right there. And then the bottom glove box uh, that opens up uh, normal. So tons of storage space. But here is our window sticker. So you guys can see the standard uh, equipment with it. And uh, that's kind of like in that first section. And then it'll show like the base uh, MSRP after all the standard equipment, which is nice. But you guys can see the optional uh, equipment here in this section. So notice that the paint says $0, but then you look at the avocado gloss edition and it's sixteen thousand dollars so this is a sixteen thousand dollar paint job yes it gives you the badges and the interior and all that kind of stuff but it's got the same performance of a regular svr it's literally a sixteen thousand dollar paint job but it looks amazing and it's super unique